When you're a soil food webby, you do things differently. And I suspect most of the people that are listening today and most of the people that are here today are people that do things differently. We don't use pesticides because you don't need them. You have diversity and numbers and you have stronger plants so you don't need them. And you can tolerate a couple of bugs. You might even be able to eat a couple of them. They're not bad for us. We use beneficials wherever we possibly can. We take advantage of nature. Nature rules. Nature controls. Nature knows what's going on. Nature has been doing this for 400 million years with the plants. We are feeding the microbes, not the plants. So we're using microbe food, not fertilizer. And it comes in all sorts of forms. And there's a philosophical and a moral difference between using the stuff that we use and the stuff that was used to blow up Oklahoma City and Europe and ammunitions, etc. Comes in all sorts of forms, usually fish and poop. You can even find fish and poop. Uh, what I tell people to do is, geez, why, why not just skip the hassle? Why go to the poop? Go to the stuff that makes the poop. You don't have to feed the animal. You can use the stuff they eat. All of that stuff turns out to be terrific microbe food. And you can use it and save a big step and a tremendous amount of energy by using the feeds rather than using the animal poops themselves. You want to keep the phosphorus numbers very low. If you're using phosphorus in your fertilizer or your manure has too much phosphorus in it, it turns out the plant will not form an association with the mycorrhizal fungi. One of the things in the third book. You've got to keep those numbers below 10, 10, 10. And as low as you possibly can. And in fact, you'll find out you really don't even need the phosphorus if you've got the mycorrhizal fungi, because that's what they do. They go out and get phosphorus. So when we're reaching peak phosphorus, when you buy lawn food this year, no phosphorus will be in it. That middle number will be zero on all lawn food in the United States of America. So you want to keep that low, and let's see, you don't want to rototill. Because if you rototill once, that's okay. But after that, you don't need to. You know, things will grow up through cement. We've all seen it. We've all seen things growing up through pavement in your driveway. They don't need you to rototill to grow. They're growing to get to light. They'll get there. But you want that carbon. And when you rototill and destroy your fungal setup, you're losing carbon. That's bad for the environment, and that's bad for your garden. These are things that will feed uh, 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 bacteria. So if you want to have bacterially dominated microbe foods, this microbes, that's what you feed. Uh, these are the things that you can feed for uh, fungi. Um, you can make some pretty interesting things like a protozoa tea kit by taking hay, straw, which is coated with protozoa, you put it in water, stir it a couple of times a day, and after four or five days, you've got so many protozoa in there, you can see them. You put this stuff down in the soil, and in 10 days, each one of those paramecium's, which is what they are, will be eating 10,000 bacteria and pooping it right there in the root zone. Now, you can find out how your soil food web is doing by testing it. Of course, you can get nardy and read about it. You can buy a microscope. Uh, you can look for the bigger guys that eat the littler guys. This is you know, what I call the nardy Lowenfels method. Uh, and you can just test your plants. Now, I always tell people, if you're not convinced, and I know everybody here is, think about this. We've got the redwoods. Now, the redwoods are, some of them, 370 feet or taller. Some of them are 500 plus years old. How did they ever live that long and get that big without any miracle grow or any sprays being put on them? That is the ultimate question. And the simple answer is, they teamed with the soil food web without ever reading the book, but you should. Thank you very much. <laughs>